along the sidewalks around the bush. You will find a diverse from the mass of animals to the millions of plants. Explore, observe, and learn. Join us as we go and look around the, the biodiversity of the King of The Orchidaceae are a diverse and widespread family of flowering plants with blooms that are often colorful and fragrant, commonly known as the orchid family. Along with the Asteraceae, they are one of the two largest family of flowering plants. Orchids have different leaves, size, shape, and texture of leaves depend on the habitat of many uses. People use orchids for numerous purposes. Substances isolated from orchids are used in industry of perfumes, spices, and in traditional Asian medicine. Orchids do not have usual roots. They have rhizome, tuber, or aerial roots. Acacia commonly known as the wattles or acacias. Acacias are the diverse group of trees and shrubs with over 1,000 species. The root of acacia is dry pod. It is elongated and filled with 5 to 6 brown or black seed. Leaves of acacia are an important source of food for camels, goats, giraffes, and cattle. Flowers of acacia are used in the industry of perfumes and cosmetics. Did you know that most acacia tree types are fast growers, but they usually live only 20 to 30 years? Kalinga State University Orban is also filled with a lot of species of fungi, microorganisms, algae, moles, and others, such that there exist moss in the, in the rocks. The scientific name is Biochemical, and there are more than 100 plus intrus rocks and sediments. They love moist and water environment. However, because of the drought, because of the weather, the climate that we have here right now, the mosses in the KSU compound are getting dry. And we also have artillery plants which accompany mosses. They stay in rocks, underneath the trees, and shady areas. And the scientific name is Pilia microfilia. And there are a lot of clumps of artil artillery in the KSU or And we also have the mushroom bank. It is surprising. It's very surprising that there are mushrooms that live besides the kill of the KSU compound. And these mushrooms are found in the clumps of dried leaves as well as cow dung and peasants. So there are two types of mushrooms that the barrel found, wherein the other is the termite mushrooms, wherein these are grayish white with dark brown underneath and it has thick stems and they grow in shady areas underneath the tree with clumps of dried leaves. So these termite mushrooms are used as antioxidants and they can they are also edible for cooking which strengthens the body. It helps the digestive system to function normally. And we also have the psychedelic mushroom which grows on cow dung and there were three psychedelic mushroom that was found on the area in the KSU oval and so these mushrooms are not edible for eating because these mushrooms have hallucinogens which can make the people or the person who, who eats this go crazy and we also have the lichen so these lichens grow on bark of trees and as well as in rocks so there are a lot of lichens that are found in the trees of the KSU oval and lichens are two organisms of fungi and algae. So this fungi and algae has symbiotic relationship by which they need one another in order for the lichens to grow. 
and they are colored green, white, and many others. And they grow in environment where there is clean air, and they also absorb everything from the environment, such as pollutants and carbon dioxide. Digitaria ciliaris is a species of grass known by the local name crabgrass. It is a typical weedy annual grass flourishing mainly in disturbed open areas with full sun or partial shade. It is a widespread weed of annual and perennial crops including pastures in the tropics and subtropics. Crab grass is mostly used as fodder. A fiber obtained from the plant is used in making paper. A decoction of the plant is used in the treatment of gonorrhea. Euphorbia hirta is known by the local name asthma plant. It is a hairy herb with spreading or ascending branches can reach up to 50 cm high. It grows in open grasslands, roadsides, and pathways. It is widely used in traditional herbal medicine across many cultures particularly for asthma, skin ailments, and hypertension. It is also consumed in herbal tea form as folk medicine. For fevers, mostly here in the Philippines, where it is known as tawatawa, particularly for dengue, fever, and malaria. A sticky daisy is a genus of flowering plant in the family Asteraceae. Described as a genus in 1775. It is a widespread in tropical regions of Asia, Africa, Australia, the Americas, and some oceanic islands. It is an erect, smooth or hairy, unwound, slender, or rather stout herb. It has been traditionally used as a medicinal herb to cure pneumonia lung congestion, fever, hepatitis, and skin wounds. Another biodiversity that can be found in the KSU Oval are touch me not. It is often grown for its curiosity value. And the scientific name of this plant is same plant. And there are more than 10 numbers population. And the characteristic of this plant has small green curls on stem and has green leaves and pink flowers and the significance is to help in the treatment of many disorders like piles, dysentery, zinos, insomnia, diarrhea and is also applied to cure wounds since ages. Green gelantir plant belongs to the family of Erigeron sumatrensis. There are more than 7 numbers population of green gelantir in the KSU oval and the cursor stick is an erect annual, living one season only, that is 1 to 2 meters tall with basal leaves in a rosette formation. The rosette formation being particularly evident at the juvenile stage, this significance is used in herbal medicine. Chromalina odorata is a tropical and subtropical species of flowering shrub in the sunflower family. The scientific name is Eupatorium odoratum. This plant belongs to the family of Astrozeae. There are five numbers population of Chromalina odorata, and the characteristic are shrub forms then tangled bushes 1.5 to 2 meters in height, and the leaves extend from stem in triangular shape. Leaf edges can large serration or can be smooth and the significance of chimson wheat plant has leaves and seeds are used to treat asthma, cough, flu, swine flu, and nerve diseases. The KSU is filled with towering trees which are dominantly the mahogany tree which circles around you. There are also three mango trees, pepper trees, and other trees surrounding the area. The trees provide shades and shelter for plants, insects, and organisms underneath the shades of the trees and also serves as a space for students in the caves. The trees maintain magic balance in the caves of compound and absorbs carbon dioxide and also serves as home for birds and animals. It's healthy and productive biodiversity and species based on. In the case you 
or more than quadrupoda, such as insects, spiders, and ants, are the dominant animals that can be found around the area. These animals help each other in order to survive and thrive. They also help the plants that grow inside to reproduce for the process of fermentation. They support and create web activities and processes for the environment and function productively. Animals play a significant role in the stability of the KSU urban environment the lives of the students and to the teachers. Without them, our existence as human beings is not possible.